Hey everyone, it's Anna and today I'm going to show you how I got this look. It's a gold smoky eye with some dramatic winged liner. So if you want to know how I did this, just keep watching and if you do like my video, please subscribe and I'll try to be put, I'll try to put out videos once a week for now. Okay, thanks. Bye. So let's get started now. So the first shade I'm going to take is from the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light Eye Palette. And this colour is called Lucius, I think. Yeah, must be that. So I'm just going to take that on this BH Cosmetics brush. It's quite small. I'm going to start putting that into my crease. A36 blending brush and it's very small because I have very small eyes, eyelids I should say. I'm just going to take that um, BH Cosmetics brush again and do it back into the shadow and start placing that in the crease again. angle a 65 brush and I'm going to use the black in the Kat Von D palette it is called Shex so I'm going to take that on the brush and I'm just going to apply it into the crease going any further and then taking that same blending brush just gonna blend that all out For the lid colour, I am going to be taking a gold shade, it's from the Hard Candy Natural Eyes palette and I 
I don't know what color it is, but it's the gold one in the palette. I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. Makeup Lock and Seal. And I'm going to put a few drops of that into a little container. And then what I'm going to do is use a small brush. I'm using a Real Techniques just detailer brush. And it is quite small as you can see. I'm going to put that into the e.l.f. Lock and Seal and then dip it into the gold and just start applying that on my lid. the shade creme brulee and I'm just going to be putting that over top of the gold and to do that I'm just using a BH Cosmetics brush I don't really know what it's called doesn't say it just looks like this okay now going back in with just my blending brush. I'm just going to bring, blend the edges out a bit. And I'm taking a e.l.f. small angle brush and I'm going to use that to put some more black just into the crease area again. And then blending that out with the same. Oh, I think it's a brush. Now. Now. Okay. I'm just gonna blend this out. Like now. Okay. Just kind of blend this out. Like you never felt so close. No Okay, for the eyeliner I'm using Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I don't really know how to say this. Salios. So it's just a white eyeshadow. And put it under my brow bone using a Sigma Large Shader E60 brush. And with a Exo Beauty Tapered Blender. Okay, now mascara. So mascara, I'm using the Miss Manga Makeup Volume and this is by L'Oreal. Okay, got those on now. So I'm going to do my face makeup. Just zoom out. Ooh. Okay. 
So I have already put on moisturizer and I've put on my primer. Uh, the primer I'm using is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. So I'm going to, I'm going to use this foundation today. I haven't used it yet. It's the Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless Foundation. And it's in the shade Ivory. So let's see how this goes. And I'm going to apply that with a beauty sponge. Okay, that foundation actually looks really nice. Quite like it. Might put another layer on. So, just one more pump. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Concealer, I'm just using the Hard Candy Glamouflage just under my eyes. And you don't really need much of this. A little bit goes a long way. I'm using are uh, the Rimmel Stay Matte. I'm going to use it under my eyes with another beauty sponge. is the Australis Fish and Flawless powder. Just gonna use that on a e.l.f. powder brush. Okay, just gonna finish off my eyes. So I'm gonna take that same shade from the Kat Von D palette that I first used, which is <laughs> um, and just gonna put it underneath my eyes, just using that same blender brush. And I'm going to brighten up my um, tear duct area as well using the uh, Super Shock Cheek by Colourpop and this is a fanny pack. I'm just going to take any brush um, and put this on. For the rest of my face, I'm going to contour using the Australis um, AC on Tour contouring kit, and I'm going to use a Real Techniques blush brush to do that. Okay. 
washing in this MAC and it's Desert Rose. I'm just going to take that on a VH Cosmetics blush brush. Oh, and I'm going to use the same highlight that I did in the inner tear ducts for the tops of my cheeks. Just taking that on another BH Cosmetics brush. Numbers. They don't have any names on them, but. Any fan brush will do. BH Cosmetics and this is in the color Rosy. <laughs> Just gonna show up in that. And I just zoom me up on my 